Hey everybody, welcome to Tactical Nuts Gear Review channel. Uh, today we're going to be uh, sharing our first video. It's a uh, high quality product here, the Cry Precision Airlight SLC Blast Belt. So uh, essentially a battle belt, but uh, also uh, has some, some soft armor uh, rated at 3A, so good for uh, most pistol threats. Uh, it's high quality product, as previously mentioned. A lot of you are probably quite familiar with Cry Precision have some of their stuff or, or know somebody who has their stuff. They have a uh, great attention to detail, use high quality materials, uh, a lot of research and design. Go, go into these products, this uh, battle belt is, is no exception. So we'll do some close-ups, uh, show you how we have this belt set up. Uh, haven't, haven't used it yet, gonna take it to the range in the coming weeks and then uh, we'll provide a follow-up and let you know what we, what we think. But uh, initial impressions are that it's, it's a quality product. From the ergonomics of it, it's a very comfortable belt. Um, when it's just naturally sitting, you know, it, it rests in a, uh, in a pr pretty natural position, and, you know, as far as its curvature goes. So uh, when you're wearing it, it's comfortable. Couldn't see any issues with having this on for hours on end or running around a range for doing whatever it is that you're gonna be doing with it. So uh, you can see laser, laser cut molly on the outside. Um, some pretty thin material here. Certainly it's strong, but it's thin. Idea is to keep the weight down. So this belt happens to be a large. Um, Weight-wise, it's about 1.8 pounds, so not too bad when you're wearing it. You barely even notice. Uh, it actually adds, I'd say, some support um, for your lower back. Not really the point of it. It's mostly, you know, for throwing on pouches, ammo pouches, uh, med kit, etc. But uh, very comfortable and the comfort part of it is probably 90% of the uh, the equation when it comes to wearing a battle belt. If it's uncomfortable, you're not going to want to wear it. It's going to annoy you. It's going to chafe and you're going to want to take it off. So uh, that's probably 90%. The other 10% is probably how cool how cool it looks or the functionality uh, and effectiveness of it, which um, it does quite well. So um, the internal belt here, the belt that actually holds the whole thing on, not a very tall belt, not a very thick belt either. So again, it's air light, so that's probably the design of it. This inner belt here seems as though it only has maybe a piece of uh, plastic um, running through it that holds the whole thing together. Again, probably quite strong, just not real thick, not as thick as uh, some other belts we have and uh, or belts that you probably have. A little attention to detail here with their Cry Precision branding. It's on a lot of their products, so you know it's you know it's legit. Um, so the side panel here uh, has a has a snap, which allows you to access more easily the the uh, belt here for any drop leg holsters, uh, and they kind of go through that or detail that on their website in the description. Um, and then behind that are these little little pouches uh, that you can access. They're pretty tight. Not exactly sure just yet what those are for. Um, you wouldn't be able to fit a whole lot down there, but stitch on three sides. Um, so there's several of those. Craft Precision will probably be able to answer that question on what that's for. If we find out, we'll try and uh, we'll get it in the comments for you. But snaps up, allows you to get to uh, the belt, as mentioned, for the drop leg holster. Same thing on the other side. So whether you're a lefty or a righty, you can do it. In this case, we have it set up with the True North Concepts uh, uh, MHA, the modular holster adapter which uh, we had some problems with. We're gonna do another video with it. Uh, the, the problems were with putting it together, not with the actual product. I think once we got it together, it's gonna to be good. Um, this belt being so thin, you have uh, some extra space here. So we need to crank, you either need to crank down these, these fasteners uh, on the adapter uh, or use thinner grommets or spacers. That would do the trick. But if you really wrench them down, uh, it's gonna stay put on this belt. So that's something that we have to do before we actually take it out to the range. So it moves around here a little bit, but you're gonna to need to do that to figure out what the ultimate position of it's gonna be, and then you snug it down. Um, the uh, MHA here is equipped with the Safari Land QLS adapter. Um, waiting for a couple holster, holsters to come in before we, uh, we slap those out and give it a try uh, out on the range. But you're probably familiar with these. Uh, seem to get good reviews from other folks, so we'll give those a shot. Again, had some installation issues. Talked to True North Concepts about it. They're going to address that on their website and provide some uh, better installation instructions. Um, and then it's got the the leg the leg strap here too to keep it from swinging around. So we'll button that back up on this side. Um, 
Inside of the belt, before we get into the suspenders, a real soft material. Kind of get a close up to see what that looks like. Um, if it were against your skin, you know, on the lower part of your back, uh, if your t-shirt were to ride up or whatever shirt you're wearing, um, it wouldn't chafe, it'd be pretty comfortable there. And then the, uh, as mentioned on the website, you have, you are able to remove the, uh, the ballistic insert, the 3A ballistic insert if you want. Uh, in order to do that, you would need to unvelcro this, um, which spins around, pulls this flap up. Um, the inner belt also velcros to that same that same piece there. So uh, normally would would sit there and pull and pull that out for you so you can see what it looks like. I don't think it's too exciting. Everything fits together well now, so we got we're keeping it together. But uh, the fact that we have the suspenders on it take a few minutes um, to undo those, and we got them kind of tweaked just how we want them. So. Uh, belt retails on their website for $338. Not cheap, but uh, you get what you pay for, and the fact that it's got the 3A insert uh, justifies that price. If you want to get the belt without without the insert, you can do that and uh, and save quite a bit. But kind of went big here and, and got it with the insert. It seemed to make sense uh, and wanted to give it a shot. So we're going to do that and take it to the range, and we'll report back. Uh, lastly, just want to talk about the suspenders. Um, suspenders, one size fits all. Just adjust them how you see fit. They weave pretty nicely on the back of the belt, and then on the uh, and then on the front portion as well. Um, those are available in two colors: the suspenders, a coyote and a ranger green. Obviously, this is the ranger green. Uh, some great stitching, high quality, not positive what you would use these uh, loops for necessarily, uh, but they're there. Big thing is that there's a little bit of uh, stretch here in this elastic piece on the back. So if you're running around, bending over, getting in and out of a vehicle, um, you could do that with, with ease. Um, four colors on the belt, uh, Coyote, Ranger Green, uh, Multicam and a black, pretty obvious here, Ranger Green uh, to change it up, um, but you have some options. This one, again, only weighs 1.8 pounds in the size large. Very comfortable, as mentioned several times. The only critique of the belt just want to briefly uh, discuss is uh, when you wear the belt, it seems as though the front part of the strap kind of rides up high um, up here. Certainly, uh, it's, it's likely part of the design. So when you're wearing it, it seems as though the belt is sitting low in the front um, and then that this buckle um, is a little bit higher up on the belt catching these loops, which not a big deal as long as it's comfortable. It just, uh, when you look at it uh, in a mirror, maybe it looks uh, a little bit off, but um, likely by design and, uh, and comfortable. So no, no real issue there. That'd be really the only critique. Uh, you are able to stow the, the, belt, the belt straps, whatever's left over in these loops. Um, it works out size-wise. Um, for us to be able to do that uh, for this for this belt, no big deal. If it, it doesn't catch these, you just sit there and you know you could use uh, some sort of you know ranger band or or some tape to uh, square those away. Anyways, uh, hey, appreciate you guys checking out the channel, checking out this awesome piece of kit. Um, follow us, give us a like. Many more awesome videos with uh, high quality products uh, coming down the road. All right, guys, see you out on the range. Take care.